Hi, Leo. Welcome to your Love Connection reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for a love connection you believe you have with somebody, whether you're together or not. So you do actually have to know each other. If you are single, I do offer a singles reading on the channel. You can check that out too. You may, uh, may or may not resonate with that. That is more intended for people who are actually single, wondering new love may come in. Uh, but links are below for your love and general readings in the description box. So if you feel like checking that out, uh, go right ahead. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Um, please only take what resonates for you. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Um, it could be past, present, or future. So let's see what we have for Leo. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. If you're new to my channel, so what I always do first is pull a zodiac card here so we could get a, pl a planet sign or element see how that plays into your reading and then with this deck here it's a new deck for me this is the magdalene deck we are going to pull an opening love energy between you and your person and then we'll get one for you one for them how you're both feeling about each other and the connection one for the mutual energy for the connection clarifying all that energy with the tarot and then we'll do the actual situation advice guidance possible outcome energy at the bottom of the deck and we'll get some angel answers at the end. So, Leo, let's see what we have for Leo. Leo, Leo. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective, not a private reading. I don't know if I just said that, but I'm <laughs> saying it again. So please only take how it resonates for you. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Uh, hold up for um, future readings or, like I said, check the description box below. And feel free to watch past readings. And there's plenty of stuff in the description box. Feel free to check that out. How to book a personal reading. Tons of stuff. And if you're new, uh, if you subscribe and hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. If you do, thank you so much. You get about four to five readings a month, and they're all different. So, and if you do, thank you, and welcome to the family. Okay, Leo. Let's see what we have for Leo. Let's get a sign, element, or planet for Leo, what may uh, some Leos be dealing with? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Let's see what we have. Mercury. So Mercury is the energy of Gemini, but doesn't have to be Gemini. But Mercury is all about truth, clarity, uh, ideas, the mind, uh, communication, open, honest communication. So... Could be gaining clarity on your love situation, Leo, with your person. Could be some open, honest, truthful communication coming. Could be new insights. You know, it's all about anything to do with the mind and communication. All right. Could be Gemini, someone rising Venus. Doesn't have to be. Uh, we got 15 there for Mercury, which is 6, which is about healing, balance, Leo, you have five, and if Mercury added together at six, that's a progression, five, six. Add that together, that's 11, and that's a twin flame number. Add that together, two, is about unity and partnership. All right, so let's get an opening love message for Leo, for whoever you're thinking about for this reading. Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective for Leo. What is the opening message for Leo in their love connection? At this time, spirit, please, for the general collective of Leos. All right. The lovers. Well, now, and that's Gemini does represent the lovers in the tarot. And Mercury is Gemini. Gemini is the lovers. And we have the lovers here. You're going to be gaining clarity on your lover, Leo. I we <laughs> Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> Let's get very uh, intimate uh, energy there, being vulnerable, open, connected, very intimate connection, emotional, passionate. Okay, let's see, or supportive. I see a very caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. So Leo, I'm gonna put you here, Leo, your person there, but if, like I said, anytime, during this reading, if you feel like the energies need to be switched, flipped around, please do that. One for Leo's person, whoever they're thinking about at this time. For this reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. I'm going to take the bottom for the mutual energy. 
Let's see what we have for Leo. For Leo, we have Purgatory. So right now you may feel like in a state of you don't know what's going on because <laughs> Purgatory is kind of stuck between two worlds, not really sure what the story is, what's going on, you know, where are we going from here? Are we going forward? Are we going backwards? Are we just going to stay stuck? So you're feeling like something's stuck in this connection that you have with your person. Not sure where it's going, where it's heading. Not even sure of the past. Not even sure of the past energy. Not even sure of the present energy. So that's my energy for purgatory. So let's see how your person feels. The messenger, so you may be getting a message from your person about this connection. And that is Mercury with messenger. Mercury, communication. Messenger, communication, sending a message, getting a message, delivering a message. And crucifixion is the connective energy. So that's about, uh, you know, crucifying oneself. Not feeling worthy enough, um, regrets, failures, um, that, that kind of energy. So you both may, may be in this energy of like, what did I do? I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have done that. Like crucifying every little thing you might have done in this connection or haven't done. And, you know, crucifying the energy of what you should have done. You know, so a lot of that energy of should have. Coulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know, regrets, um, blame, sadness. But your person may be sending a message here. Wow. Wanting to become lovers, intimate, passionate, emotional, connected. Wow. That reminds me of like the soulmate twin flame card in the deck. And... And I did say Mercury and Leo added together was 11, which is half of the Twin Flame number. Wow, okay. So let's clarify this energy for Leo spirit, please. Thank you so much. Clarifying this energy for Leo. Leo, you feel like everything's in limbo. You're not sure what the heck's going on. What was the past? What's going on now? What's the future? But your person wants to be clear with you. You may get a message coming in. All right, let's clarify this energy for Leo. Let's get some for you, Leo, some for your person, and then the mutual energy. Let's get two for Leo, two for Leo, two for Leo, two for your person, two for the connective energy, two, well, all right, we'll take these two. All right, so for you, Leo, with Purgatory, we have the King of Wands. That's definitely your energy and the Prince of Pentacles. So the Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands can be Sagittarius. So if I mention the sign you may be dealing with, fine. If I don't, don't get too caught up on it. It's all just energy. So, and it can be male, female. So if it says King, can be Queen, doesn't matter here. I usually say king or queen. So we have the king of wands or queen, but the king does represent Sagittarius. And then the knight of pentacles represents Taurus. So I feel like here, you know, you're a fiery, passionate go-getter. And you can see your person in that energy too. Uh, Prince of Pentacles here is usually somebody that comes in with a stable offer. Stable, they're grounded, secure, they're smart, practical, they take their time, they're very cautious. So, you know, you could see your person here is a fiery, passionate energy, but you're waiting for this offer to come in and it's taking a long time. And that's why you feel like it's kind of just stuck in purgatory right now. And that's also could be your energy. So you, that could be you or you, they could also be a fire sign, but they don't have to be or take on that energy. So let's see what per, uh, energy your person has. Well, look at this. We have the fool and the princess of cups. So the fool is Aquarius. And the Princess of Cups is the Page of Cups. So this is a, a message of love. And we got the messenger right there. So you could be receiving a message from this person finally coming through, taking that step, that leap of faith to offer some sort of love offer or communication. Say, hey, I like you too. Or I think I'm in love with you. I have feelings for you. Finally delivering that message that you, maybe you've been waiting for. They're finally taking that leap of faith. And look, we have the sun here, Leo. You do represent the sun and the tarot. 
So I do see a message coming in, some sort of message of love, finally taking that leap. The energy is here. Whether or not they'll actually act on it is yet to be seen. So the mutual energy here of crucifixion, we have the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups. Exactly what I said. You know, thinking, contemplating of everything. You know, the Five of Cups, sadness, loss, regret. The coulda, shoulda, wouldas kind of energy. You know, thinking about every little thing with the Five of Cups. So again, that's that energy. Mutual energy between the two of you. Wow. So that's just clarifying everything I had just mentioned. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. You're both in this energy of sadness, loss, regret over each other, thinking heavily upon everything that's gone on, past, present, what could be the future, what didn't happen, what did happen. Wow. Crucifying every little thing about this um, connection. So they may be sending a, taking that leap, sending a message of love, and you're waiting for it here. You're waiting for it. You're full of fire, passion, and you're waiting for this stable, grounded offer to come in. But you're just kind of stuck here waiting, waiting for this. It's like you know it's coming, or you think it's going to be coming, but yet you really don't know. So let's get more for this energy here. So we have the hermit energy. Of course, we're all in lockdown now, so we're all kind of in hermit energy. So let's get the situation between Leo and that person. Where are they thinking about at this time, spirit, please? Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. The devil. Capricorn. Wow, we're getting all majors now. The emperor, there's the divine masculine. Devil, that's um, Capricorn, Empress Aries. The five of wands. The actual situation, please. The Three of Wands. Let's get one more. And the Princess of Pentacles. So actually, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles here. And now we have the page. There's another message coming in. So they're coming in at with two pages here. And the Messenger, a lot of messages coming in for you, Leo. So the Hermit, the Devil, the Emperor... So I feel like here, yeah, you're, you know, you could be in this energy, both in this energy of just, again, thinking, contemplating with the hermit is the major of the minor of the four of swords. You know, thinking and contemplating this whole connection, the past, the present, what's the future going to bring, coulda, shoulda, wouldas, regrets, you know, every little thing, trying to find the way, the light in this connection. Devil energy just can be that negative thinking, self-doubt, you know, self-sabotage in the connection, uh, fear, worry, low self-esteem. And then we do have the emperor. So the emperor is the energy taking control. Emperor, empress taking control, taking charge, the lead. It's divine masculine energy, um, or who, whoever embodies that. So somebody here, you know, after thinking, contemplating, getting over fear, and all that self-doubt and negative toxic energy. If there is any toxic, it could be just negative energy overcoming that and someone taking the leading charge here, coming forward. And I think it's going to be a person after much conflict. So somebody could have a lot of conflict around them, inner conflict, you know, input from other people, putting their two cents in, um, and that kind of energy. I'm not sensing there was any like conflict between the two of you. I mean, there could have been for some of you. But this is competition, conflict, inner, outer, external, however that resonates for you. Three of Wands, so patiently waiting for the ship to come in. So you both see each other as each other's ship waiting to come in. But stuck in purgatory, where is this going? So your person here maybe had to wait, to, you know, for some reason. Could be getting over toxic energy or, you know, re uh, ridding themselves of that, taking control and ridding themselves of that energy but waiting, patiently waiting. So now coming forward again, message, Princess of Pentacles here. It's a page of Pentacles coming forward with a stable grounded offer long term. It could be commitment. It could be marriage. It could be leveling up in some way. Even, hey, let's go, you know, let's go on a date. You know, let's, I'll pay. Let's go on a date. Let's, you know, get a cup of coffee, a drink, whatever here. Uh, get to know each other. 
could be outside. So, you know, six feet away outside. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think they're going to, I think they've been waiting. They've been waiting after much conflict of some kind, inner, outer, external, whatever here, all three, maybe now heavy messages, messenger, 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 taking that leap after a period of waiting, finally coming forward here to clear your mind of all this toxic energy that you've been waiting for. You've been kind of, maybe some of you've been alone, just doing you, that hermit energy, and waiting for this emperor to come through, emperor, empress. Your emperor is finally coming through. So let's see, let's just some um, advice, guidance. So, I mean, you know, whatever the situation is for you, they could, be, could have been freeing themselves from some sort of um, situation they were in first before they could come to you. That's why we're waiting here. But, and you could have been calling them in because you see this person is calling their ships in. So kind of like using the law of attraction. So let's see. I don't feel comfortable taking that yet. What is the advice, guidance for Leo in this connection? The chariot. Don't stop. Positive movement forward. Drive ambition, balance, cancer energy. Don't stop. Keep doing you. Remain balanced. Success, victory is coming. Positive movement forward is coming. The yin to the yang. The yang to the yin is coming. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy, Divine Timing, Fate, Destiny, things going in the right direction, Karma finally getting balanced out in any way, shape, or form. And I said that the Princess of Swords comes out, the Page of Swords, more communication. A lot of communication here. That's the fourth card for communication. Princess of Swords, so open, honest, truthful communication. Uh, could be, you know, spying on each other online. Kind of energy also uh, doing research online in some way. What else here? Ten of Cups. Happy home and family. Happiness and joy in every single way. Let's get one more for your advice or guidance. Death. So I feel like, and it's coming under your person, so I feel like here just know, I think your person had to end something first. So they could transform this whole new life for themselves. That's why they're waiting. There could have been, again, like that, a lot of conflict in some way. But ending transformation. We have Scorpio here. So transformation is coming. Endings are here, but new beginnings. So whatever they've had to end, they have to do that. It could have been an ending of a marriage or an other commitment here with the Ten of Cups. But just know that commun honest communication is coming. Things getting better, going in the right direction, and there'll be positive movement forward. Keep doing you also. Balance and drive is coming, and the yin and the yang is coming together, the masculine and the feminine energy. So we did have, well, we have the emperor come out, so we know that's a masculine energy. You can be female and be masculine energy. All right, so let's get possible outcome for this. The Six of Cups. So possible outcome is someone from your past returning. This person returning. Six of Cups. Um, could have had past lives with this person. Um, definitely soulmate energy here. Twin flame energy. You could have known them for a long time. If not, that's totally fine. Um, but could be children involved in here some way also. Whether or not with, you've had children with each other or outside of that. But... Six of Swords, so wow, a lot of sixes here. Six is healing and balance. So six here, traveling together, moving together in a very healing, balanced energy, leaving all past crap behind and just going to more calmer, peaceful waters together. Again, we have a child, so there could be a small child involved. If not, it doesn't have to be. It could be your inner child coming back together, you know, bringing out that childlike energy between the two of you. So we do have the moon. So this could be, you know, secrets coming to light, um, very deep feelings and emotions. So now we have the feminine energy. The masculine was the emperor, and now we have the feminine with the moon. So definitely could be a twin flame energy here. So the moon, you know, not seeing the path clearly, but, you know, secrets coming to light could be very deep, deep emotions and feelings, cycles, Kind of energy also. Not sure of the path forward. Let's see what else here. 
what else here? So they could be revealing to you, you know, why it took so long for them to message you. The Hierophant, oh my gosh. <laughs> this could lead to, you know, long-term commitment, marriage, higher learnings of education, uh, faith, religion, um, higher levels of commitment in some way, shape, or form. Wow. So very deep feelings here. So now we have Taurus, Pisces. Yeah, I see a soulmate returning, going to combo waters together. A lot of deep feelings and emotions could lead to marriage or commitment in the future in some way, shape, or form. Wow, Leo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to take five. So let's see what we have here. Just a little extra clarification. Well, we have the sun and the moon. Sun is masculine. Moon is feminine. Divine masculine and feminine. Twin flame energy here. So, again, the sun, total happiness, joy, commitment, uh, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing energy, most positive card to get. And this is Leo, that's your energy. Two of Pentacles, so, you know, rocky times, you know, this Six of Swords moving ahead. You know, we're moving out of these rocky waters of this imbalanced energy of being in that state of purgatory, limbo, you know, weighing out the pros and cons, trying to balance out our energies, Kind of energy now going forward in more calmer waters leaving all this behind we do have the magician here so we're manifesting a whole new beginning here which is gemini virgo doesn't have to be we have the star so we have faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true healing energy divinely guided energy aquarius divinely guided and we do have the seven of wands so again i feel like you know maybe people were defensive at one time you know, you to them, them to you, whatever here, but now we could be in the energy of fighting for this connection, standing up, fighting for it, not backing down. It is divinely guided, the star here. Divinely guided with the sun, the moon, and the stars. Oh my God. The masculine, the feminine, the hierophant. Wow. And the fool and the alchemist, which is the magician and the sun. Wow. So this is a divinely guided energy between... Soulmate Twin Flames here, Leo. So let's get some extra messages here from the Angel Answers for you, Leo, on this connection. I feel like your Emperor or Empress has finally arrived, or will be arriving very soon with a message. All right, so let's get some angel answers for Leo, someone rising Venus, male or female, drama collective. Big happy changes. Nice. Let's get a few more. So I feel that getting stuck out of purgatory, Leo, it's coming. Don't stop. Don't stop what you're doing. Keep doing you. And I had felt that. What else? take action. So I think this person will be finally taking action, coming in with a message. What else for Leo? Within the next few weeks, Leo, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ask your angel. So this is trusting your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, source, asking, praying, meditate, meditating, asking for signs, symbols um, in your journey. And I think it's divinely Guided, protected by source angels. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.